What's going on guys? You read the video title, you already know what's going on. It is a beautiful morning out here in Navarre Beach, Florida. We're joined by Brian, of course, and we've got a new guest on the channel today. Welcome, George. This is our first time taking the kayaks offshore. We cannot ask for a more beautiful morning. I mean, gorgeous sunrise, basically flat conditions out here, no wind. It is just absolutely perfect. So we're gonna start the day off trolling around, not far, off of the beach for some tuna. And then as day progresses, we're gonna work further out. There are some pretty awesome reefs here in Navarre. We're gonna go out, trigger fish season just opened. We're gonna drop some trigger fish, uh, potentially some snapper and several other species as well. This is gonna be a ton of fun. I'm excited, I hope you guys are as well. Let's get the boats in the water and let's get out there and catch some fish. Go catch tuna, Brian. So we're gonna start the day out with uh, the brand new combo that I just got. This is a pen rival, um, it's a 20 LW. Got about 150 yards of uh, 65 pound Power Pro braid. I've got a 60 pound fluorocarbon leader, um, about six foot long. I'm super shallow diver, it only dives to like four to eight feet, somewhere in there. Um, and we're gonna start out trolling for some tuna. So we're going to uh, pitch this out behind the boat. And then uh, loosen that up. We're gonna get moving here and just let out a whole bunch of line behind us. And we're just gonna kind of get in the rotation. There's a whole bunch of kayakers out here, probably about 20 or so, just doing a big loop. Right here off uh, the end of the pier, we're in about 45 feet of water right now. Turn that clicker on. There we go. That ought to do it. I've got the rod um, leashed up. So we don't have any problems with that. Pitch that back there, drag is set. And let's start trolling. Just gonna do big loops, probably a quarter to a half mile, running down parallel with the beach here. And then we'll spin around and just kind of do a big uh, flat sided oval, about a half mile long with all these other boats out here. Hopefully we'll be the ones to hook up. All right, nothing going this way. We've gone for probably about three quarters of a mile. So we're gonna bring this in and uh, switch directions, move out just a little bit further, probably maybe a hundred feet that direction and uh, start trolling back the other way. Drop that on out and let out our line. See what happens. All right, been about an hour now. Um, trolling back and forth. We've done uh, three half mile passes um, back and forth along the beach. Um, still no tuna, haven't seen anybody else hook up on a tuna yet either. So we're gonna shift gears a little bit. We're gonna start heading out towards where the reefs are. Um, I think they're like a mile and a half, two miles offshore, somewhere in there. And uh, hopefully get onto some trigger fish, some snapper, and uh, you know, a multitude of other potential species as well. All right, so we're gonna start this endeavor out with a, a double drop rig here. So essentially what this is is two uh, number two sized hooks and it's got a two ounce sinker that hangs off the bottom of it. So I'm gonna get this untangled, we'll get this tied on and then uh, I think we're gonna start out fishing some cut squid down on the bottom.
cut some of this squid up here. Get this squid threaded onto our hooks. So we're gonna start with this, and if this doesn't work, we'll uh, try to catch some bait and see if that works better. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Small, whatever it is. A little ruby, maybe. A little ruby red lips. There we go. See you later, buddy. Hey, at least you're catching something. What do you got there? Ooh. Oh, is this vermilion? That it is. Uh, we'll fling this out in front of us a little ways, let it drop down there. You can keep the bait down, they'll follow up. There we go. Hey. Yep. Cool. I think it's a trigger though. All right, finally hooked up on a potential trigger. Oh yeah. What do we got here? A snapper? A vermilion snapper. Nice. Hello, my friend. Nice chubby one. Vermilion snapper, very first one. Pretty stoked about that. These guys gotta be 10 inches to keep. I hear that they are absolutely delicious. So let's see how long he is here. Stretch the tail out. Oh yeah, buddy, 14 and a half. And uh, let's see, flat tail, 13. So definitely a legal vermilion snapper. Let's uh, bleed this guy here, punch him right through the gills. There we go. Bleed this guy out in the net here. I'm just stuff that in there and let him hang out. That way he's uh, not bleeding all over the bag. And then uh, we'll put him in the bag here in a couple of minutes. Interesting. Pretty. Yep. Oh, Brian's on something big. No? Yeah. Trigger? Yeah, it is. Good job, Brian. Nice. That's probably a good nice. Thing. nice trigger. Now, is this to the fork? Uh, yeah. Okay, I believe that will be just a keeper. Yeah. Like, just barely. Good job, man. Cool, first keeper. Hello, my friend. My first offshore keeper. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice little football. Yeah. Beauty. In the bag. So that's a porgy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, see, look. Because I was like, it looks like it, but yeah, it is. It's a wow, very that's cool. beautiful. That yeah. is beautiful. Get in the sunlight here. So we got a vermilion for me. We got a porgy for George. And uh, you got a vermilion too in here, huh? Yeah. So we're all in the bag. Yeah, that's awesome. It's got that blue face. Yeah. It's cool. All right, let's get this porgy in the bag. Yeah, that's an awesome fish, Brian. Yeah. Cool, man. All right. We're all catching. That's what it's about. Oh, the bag's getting a little heavier. All right, let's get back at it. I think I got a ruby here, maybe. Yeah, they're liking the shrimp more than the squid. All right, little ruby red lips. We're going to uh, keep this guy, use him as bait later. 
Oh. oh. We're over him now. I do there right here. Mark. There he is. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, he came off. There we go. Something decent here. Oh, baby. What do we got here? Oh, did he really come off? Here. There we go. Oh, came off. There we go. Ah. Oh. Came off again, man. Here's fish. Thanks for playing, Mr. Red Lip. Something maybe just a little bit better here. Oh. Snappa. Heck yeah, man. Sweet. Very first red snapper. He's ready to go. <laughs> oh my god, these things are feisty. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. All right, cool. Finally added red snapper to our bucket list. Not in season right now, so we're not keeping any, obviously. But let's get back down there and see if we can uh, hit our trigger fish. That is one that we have not got yet today. There we go, another snapper maybe. Another ruby here. Yeah, another ruby. Another ruby. Well, well, well. If it isn't the oh so familiar Mr. Ruby Red Lips. All right, so far we are doing uh, pretty well out here today. A couple different kind of snapper. Um, I've got that vermilion that I kept. Um, we've been getting red snapper quite a bit. Um, we have been getting trigger fish. Um, both of them have caught quite a few trigger fish. I haven't got one yet. I'm still hoping to do that. Um, but the spots that we were at are uh, kind of dying down um, on the bite, it seems. There's plenty of ruby red lips, um, but that is not what we are looking for. So George has taken us out to um, another spot that he has marked. We're in about 68 to 70 feet of water right now. Um, so getting considerably deeper, uh, working our way a little bit further out. And uh, hopefully that's gonna pay off and we will find where those bigger fish are hanging out. That's a better fish. Yeah, that's a better fish. Please be my trigger. Please be my trigger. Oh, that's my trigger. Oh, he's very big though. <laughs> Little baby trigger. Sweet. Yeah, buddy. I don't think he's legal though. I think I gotta release him, but we'll, we'll measure him. Ooh, there it is, guys. We finally got our trigger fish. So all three of us got a trigger. All three of us have got a couple red snapper. And I got that nice vermilion too. So let's put this guy on the scale. I don't think he's gonna be legal. They've gotta be 15 inches out here. Um, but if he is legal, we're gonna keep him. I hear trigger fish is delicious. Let's find out. All right, nose on the bumper. And so with these fish, it is uh, to the fork as far as we know, not to the tip. So the tip is at 15, but the fork is only at 13. So we're gonna release this guy. But there it is, nice little trigger fish. Going back in the water. See you later, buddy. Come back when you're two inches bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> Dang. What'd you catch? Trigger. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize you had a fish in the boat. I would have been filming. Let's get back up to that waypoint that we set here. 
Man, as soon as we drifted over that reef, I hooked up, lost it, he hooked up, got bit off. And then uh, I got my trigger, Brian got a trigger. Definitely a pretty decent spot here. Oh, I was just on a big one. Uh, I think we got rubies down there too. Oh, Jesus. I think this is a ruby. <laughs> I think it's just a fat one. Man, they hit hard, dude. Yeah. Get nibbles. We got here a ruby. Nope, that's not a ruby. There we go. Yeah, it's not a ruby. If it's a trigger, I don't think he's gonna be big enough. But, never know. Oh, did he just break me off? Check, it, check your line. What the hell? He snapped my braid. It must have been frayed in a spot. Oh, that sucks. Thought I had a potential keeper maybe, but he broke my braid. I must have had it frayed up from sheep's head fishing, which that just goes to show how important it is to always check your line. But I didn't, so we paid the price of losing a nice fish, but that's okay. The uh, shrimp seems to be doing pretty well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one of these uh, salt cured pieces of squid on one of these hooks here. And then on the second hook, we're gonna do a nice juicy whole raw shrimp let's get back in the game getting hit there we go fish on good fish good fish oh yeah if this isn't a snapper this might be my keeper trigger Oh yeah. We got, oh, it's a snapper. Yeah, it's a snapper. Took the uh, shrimp, shrimp. Nice snapper though. Too bad you're not in season, you'd be delicious. Have my hook back, please, sir. Thank you. <laughs> What's up? I can't toss a little shrimp. No. Did he really just come off? If it isn't our best friend, Mr. Ruby Red Lips. Alright, I got something here a little bit bigger, probably a snapper. What do we got? Snapper. No, it's a, <laughs> it's a tiny trigger, dude. Even for how small he is, I mean, he fought pretty good. Alright, dude, tiny little trigger fish. That's pretty cool. There you go. on something a little bit more decent here. <sighs> Definitely a little bit more decent, whatever this is. Probably gonna be another snapper. I don't think this is gonna be a trig. Oh, it's a little trigger. <laughs> Real little trigger, one of the smallest ones of the day. Look at that. Cool fish though, man. That is sick. I still don't have my legal trigger fish, but we have caught three now, so that's pretty cool. Little trigger fish, probably only, uh, I don't know, maybe 12 inches long. He's not very big, but still super cool. Send them all back.
shape. All right, guys, we just made it back to uh, the beach, not the boat launch. I'm used to boat launches. We made it back to the beach, guys. And uh, I would say that that is a pretty awesome day. Um, awesome, awesome red snapper bite. Couldn't keep any of them, unfortunately. Season's closed, but it was a lot of fun catching them. Caught my very first one today. And uh, I know Brian and uh, George caught a whole bunch too. So a couple vermilion snapper though. Um, that's gonna be awesome. Take those home, see how they are. And uh, keep a trigger fish for Mr. Brian and another one for George. I didn't get any keepers, but I caught three that were pretty small. So still a ton of fun. So as always guys, thank you all so much for coming back, supporting the channel and uh, coming along on these adventures with us. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy it. And until next time, I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.